in this video I want to be showing you guys how to make this game that I have created. Keep watching till the end to see how to make this game. Welcome to that MC. If you are new to this channel, I post regular videos of Minecraft, Smash programming, and gaming videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new to this channel. Also, click the bell so you never miss a video. So this game is called Throw the Knife, and I actually created this long ago, probably around about like one year of that. I know, probably start. I think I created this at the start of 2020. That's a long time if you ask me. But anyway, let's see. So this is the game. Ah, and I lost. So the game is that you have this knife and you have to throw them in the board, in this board, nine times without touching any of the others. As you can see, there's one black knife and that's by default. Pawn. And now I think if I do one more, yep, and now I have four. So now one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 1 right there, 10. Ah, oh, no, I was so close, last one. Uh, let's see. So the way to play this game is you just click the mouse and it throws the knife for you. So all you need to do is avoid clicking, just click the mouse in the in a area where there's not many obstacles slash knives to throw. And as you can see, it's like, it's punching the knives, but when I when it coded it, I you see the silver part. Yeah, when they both touch that, then it's game over. As you can see, it touches now, so then it's game over. You must be like, well, how is those? How is the game glitched? Well, I don't know how it's glitched. I just made it the way I made it. But that's not the important bit. The important bit is not about like the glitches and stuff. The important bit is, you must be wondering, how did you make all of this? Well, it's how we made it. So first of all, this is the first three pieces of script pieces. And if you want to show um, one more demonstration, if you want it, I don't really want to, but let's show Yeah. Okay. So the three oak log is all we have to do is just, when I receive stock and forever, turn three degrees. That's all it does. Pretty simple, right? And then static knife. A little bit more advanced. Just a teeny tiny bit. No, nah, just kidding. It's actually like high level stuff. And we have the throwing knife. The most glory of them all. This. Nothing too much, really. This has the most script out of them all. I mean, this is the throwing knife, so of course. So if I just click, 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 click. As you can see, I can still click, but like nothing will happen. Oh, wait. Wait, so that means you can just click and you'd win? Oh my god. The best way to win. I just figured out this best tactic of my own game. Oh my god. Oh my god, I actually found the tactic. I, I think there are only three levels because it's impossible to beat three. Like, come on, it's like impossible. Look how many knives there are. It's impossible. Eh. One knife you can see. One knife you can't see. Yes, yeah, so, yeah, that's like too many knives. Okay. So now, if I start the game, pop. As you can see, if I hold it, it still it goes. So that means. Yes, as you can see, so if I let go, it appears. Now, there we go. And it's game over. Let me show you guys how I coded this. So, first of all, um, first of all, the tree, what you do is you have to, like, you have to. So the tree. So I, the way I create this tree is that if I go to costumes, 
use only one costume and all it does is just spin. So like it spins three degrees. So it's as cool as this. You can barely see it move, right? Yeah, you should be able to barely see it move. For some reason it looks just chilly. <laughs> Actually. I don't know why. I don't know why it looks so chilly with the kids but no, it is it yeah, it looks like chilly. <laughs> Actually. I can't believe it looks like chilly. Hello, I'm Mr. Kelly. Oh, that looks more chilly. Okay. Wait, 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 let me see. Oh, it's sweating me there for this one. Oh, wait, I think I just want to make this one. Let me do. Let's do this now. Oh, my God, now it just looks like a piece of jelly. Okay. So, the tr so all you have to do for the start button is you have to say, when ring fire click show, when I receive next level, delete this coin. When sprite click hide, set level to 1 to broadcast start day and broadcast start level. Then for the tree, all you have to do is when I receive start key, red bar turns 3 degrees to the left or right. My right is this way, my left is that way. Okay, you pretty much get it. And then when I receive next level, wait one second, point one seconds, broadcast start level. Then here we have to say when I find this coin, point in direction 90, show it set distance to negative 45, set circle position, that means posi position on the circle, to pick random 1 to 360, because this can go 360 degrees. So then you have to you choose which one. And then point direction, circle position, plus 90. Forever set y to sin of circle position times distance plus x position of tree. This is called the tree. Point tree. Set y to cos of circle position and distance plus y position of tree. Then change circle position by 3 times 3 degrees. Then we have to say throwing knife. We need to say when... when this is just ice cream. This equals zero. This equals zero. This equals zero. When we I click hide, when I start level, repeat level. Create clear myself. So that means level three. Let me see the trend. Yes, I'm trying a second. Let's say now we can change the level by one. Why does that mean I just that's impossible to beat? There are some bug fixes. So um fun fit for this video guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're on YouTube channel. Also click the bell so you never miss a video. Saying this, bye guys!